Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows channel. And a few observations. One is that um, after a few days, I've noticed that when I click on the uh, icon for the uh, Get Windows 10 on the bottom right, when I go to the hamburger menu on the upper left in the window, uh, now it says your PC is ready. And when I click, there's no more issues. So for those who are wondering, uh, it simply means that Probably some of you will have this message with issues that you know are going to get fixed as Microsoft either updates uh, drivers. A lot of those are because of drivers. Also, um, there's going to be a fix, you know, for some software. Uh, there are things that won't have fixes directly. You'll have to, uh, you know, do something. And um, actually, we're going to talk a little bit about that um, because you know a lot of you guys been telling me, well, I've got an issue with this, with that, with uh, some people say, oh, Norton 360. First things first, on the software side, there are issues that are going to happen and that are normal. Example, if it says that Norton 360 has an issue, that's because Norton will eventually have a Windows 10 version for their Norton software. So it just means that what you'll need to do is probably go back to the uh, website of the manufacturer, so Symantec, for example, for Norton, and so on, and just download what will be the compatible version of the antivirus, for example, in uh, that period of time. Uh, you know, what exactly should we be scared of when we get some messages here that say you've got known issues? I think um, the most important is to check for maybe certain more obscure type of software. If you've got, you know, a very special software that hasn't been updated in years, but works in Windows 8, and it shows up here as maybe there's going to be a compatibility problem in Windows 10, now you're maybe out of luck a little bit because that might mean that in Windows 10 that same software will stop working. And that is actually something you should check for and wonder if you really want to upgrade if it happens. I'd be more scared in Windows 7 because Windows 7 will be the one with probably the most issues. Uh, interesting thing on my Windows 7 laptop, which is a Core 2, it also says that everything's good to go, which is interesting. Um, maybe also, you know, I'm wondering if Microsoft didn't just fix that because a lot of people were complaining that, well, I've got issues and everybody gets scared, you know, <laughs> the first thing you, you don't want is to have a message that says, well, there's going to be maybe issues with this or that in your computer when you upgrade, uh, because you'll be scared to upgrade. Also, you know, maybe some special drivers, keep, my, keep that in mind, some drivers will not be available in Windows 10, um, and especially Windows 7 drivers for specific hardware it's possible that you'll lose that in windows 10 these are things that actually will make you think of upgrading or not if you've got special software and hardware it might not be a good idea to upgrade to windows 10 because it might actually have those um you know software and hardware will stop working and you're going to be a little you know pissed off because of that so take you know note of what is wrong if you know on July 29th you've got issues but it's with software you can download easily then I would you know it's not a problem if you have uh, your antivirus says that it's not ready I'm sure that by when, July 29th you'll be able to go to the you know McAfee or Symantec or Not32 and just download the correct version for Windows 10 that's not a problem and that will not be an issue. It's just telling you that the one, the version you have now will not be compatible. But I'm sure these companies will have a compatible version of the same software. It's mostly for the obscure software that hasn't been updated in years. Uh, drivers for some unusual hardware. For example, I've got an old USB to serial adapter in Windows 7. Uh, I'd be curious to know if that will actually be upgradable because it's really an old uh, thing and um, already in Windows 8 it has some issues. So 
Now, these are the types of things that might actually tell you that you should not upgrade right away. But apart from that, if it's you know something very common, something that's easy to download again, something that's recent, you know, if your printer says you got an issue, but your printer is six months old, uh, I can bet you that a six month old printer will work in Windows 10 because they will make a driver for it. Uh, but if your printer is 10 years old, that's another issue. So you know, take care of, take note of what message you get here in that little hamburger menu if you've got issues. And, uh, you know, check from time to time. It might go from uh, something's wrong to everything's okay, which should actually tell you that everything's good. And um, if you still have issues on July 29th, probably one of the safe thing to do is to wait a little bit and uh, see what happens. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions about the upgrade, about Windows 10, about Windows 8, just ask away. We'll try to answer any questions. Thank you for watching.